So, so, um, so Pride and Prejudice, I'm sure you've heard of it, <laughs> has spawned a number of songs and a card game about the idea of marrying Mr. Darcy. I have some thoughts on that. <laughs> The youth and pimped up a bit. Thanks. That sounds good. I don't want to marry Mr. Darcy. I hope that doesn't have to be my fate. Just because I'm cute and smart and nerdy doesn't mean I have to be with a guy who's kind of prejudicing. <laughs> No, I don't want to marry Mr. Darcy, even if he's played by Colin Firth. When I think of all the men whom classic literature half pen, I can think of many of them several times his worth. There's Tyrion, and Atticus Gilbert Blythe, and Randy Waterhouse. And if these men's affections you might spurn, well, there's Professor Bear, as played by William Shatner. <laughs> and Professor Bear, as played by Gabriel Byrne. There's Nikolai and Pierre, choose your favorite, I don't care. And Dr. Woodcourt, if your life is bleak. If you are the kind of nerd who takes a lover from literature. But the sake of your unhappiness, pick someone more unique. Cause I don't want to marry Mr. Darcy. I don't think he's all that good in bed. Plus he's kind of dickish to my mother. <laughs> Seriously, why can't we squeeze for the guy's in sense and sensibility? <laughs> no, I don't want to marry Mr. Darcy. Even if it means I get that house. <laughs> when you think of all the guys to whom I've given bookworm eyes, I can think of many men I'd rather be my spouse. Pick Kip or Wentworth, Theo, Theodorakis, or Horatio Hornblower. But you can't have eleven, he's mine. Pick any other man but Mr. Darcy, and you'll turn 